It's springtime in Toronto, and this mother raccoon has exchanged her native treetops for rooftops. They've been known to poke around our garbage, but now Toronto's raccoons are making a name for themselves on the world stage. On Faiza Amin, will this newfound fame change how Torontonians feel about these rodents? The time has come to move to a new home. It's a tale of how a family of Change raccoons makes their way through to Toronto, Toronto, part of a series told by the BBC's Planet but Earth 2. But before these masked tree, bandits got this face. starring role... There's so many nowadays, there's so many. Some Torontonians not that impressed with the critters. If you see a raccoon, what do you, what do? You do? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> got a blast. I would cross the street as well, because you never know. But even at the height of tension, there were also some good times. The death of a raccoon a few years back saw a memorial organized by humans. Flowers, candles and photos surrounded the dead raccoon. It took social media by storm. This wildlife control expert says this documentary has potential for humans to empathize with the animal. It might give people a, you know, a, a greater appreciation for, for raccoons and how clever they are and that sort of thing. But I think in many ways, you know, people kind of know that. From a terrifying 30 feet up. But can the city referred to by some as the raccoon capital of North America find common ground with these critters? Urban raccoons were born there. They're going to live their whole life there. Um, they're not sort of outside invaders coming into the city or are there by accident. This is this is their home. Are you warming up to them? No. No. Like that seems like a chimney. Like it seems like, the, yeah, you see that's someone's house. They're trying to creep into someone's house. No, mm -mm. that's like robbery. Mm -mm. Any tears yet? No, no, no. And the next time a raccoon walks down the street, Richard, will you be crossing the street? No, I think I'm going to stay on the same side. Well, job done then. <laughs> now the six part series will also feature bears who call the Canadian Rockies home. For City News, I'm Faisal Amin.